Welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. We're going to have lots of fun today. We've got the Verona Woods Restaurant joining us. We've got Silvermine talking about breakfast and lunch. And we've got Granite City doing a very special St. Patrick's Day shepherd's pie. Can't wait for that. It's all on your guide to the best restaurants in town, so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We're going to tell you where to go coming up on The Restaurant Show. Welcome back to the restaurant show, Granite City Food and Brewery, back with us once again. This is Matt Betchart. Thank you so much for being here. Always fun to be here. Thank you. Well, I'm really excited about what we're doing today. So, got a little sneak preview, Shepherd's Pie. Yeah, we're going to be doing... I didn't know you guys had this. Well, this is something that we're featuring uh, here for the month of uh, March and into okay. April. Um, we've got a little Granite City twist on it, which is kind of fun. When you Before we started, you said the GC twist, and I yeah. liked how that sounded. <laughs> so we're going to actually make our shepherd's pie with uh, ground bison today. Ah. Traditionally, uh, traditionally, you'll see... Um, what, yeah, what is usually uh, lamb? Lamb, yeah, okay. right. Yeah, so lamb is, is very common, and, and lamb is great for shepherd's pie. It has mm -hmm. a nice flavor, but we're going to use a nice lean uh, ground bison. So I'm That's gonna what I was going to ask. So the bison meat is actually a little leaner than a lamb would be, what, isn't Yeah, it? exactly, okay. exactly. So uh, less fat in there, but still has some real really nice good flavor. Really flavor, yeah. I Absolutely. Like the bison. Okay, and really nice. I'm just going to start out with a little garlic butter in okay. my saute pan here, and I'm going to add this ground bison. I like bison. that even your butter is nice and flavored. Well, you got to have a little flavor Everything's in every going, layer yeah. of the dish. Every layer. Um, so yeah, okay. in the meantime, we're going to get that um, fired up. So and, Matt uh, is not messing around today because we have not one pan, but two. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're going uh, dueling saute pans Go big or today. go home. That's right. I said that so. to somebody the other day and they said, I, I don't mind staying home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful what you wish for. Yes, right. Exactly. <laughs> so again, some uh, garlic butter in the uh, other saute pan here. Okay. And. Uh, Get it going. Make sure it's turned on here, of course. There we that go. That is a key component, I, I know. think. It seems like it always gets you. Cooking, you're not paying yeah. attention there. Um, Neat. All right. So anyway, we're going to get going uh, with the other saute pan, and that's yes. going to be very simple. We're going to just saute up our julienne vegetables julienne. here. Julienne. What makes and a vegetable julienne? Well, julienne is just going to be the uh, style of the cut. So oh, it's a okay. long, a cut uh, thin cut. Um, okay. Uh, technically, it's an eighth of an inch cut. Um, and then we have some green beans in there, some broccolini, uh, carrots, uh, zucchini, yellow squash. Oh, good. Um, nice, fresh veggies. That's right. How did I know you were going to know the exact measurement of the cut? <laughs> No. And then figured gonna, you would. We're going to add some uh, some green peas to it as well, okay. and that's really uh, quite traditional again in the yeah, uh, shepherd's pie. Yeah, that's a traditional pie. piece. Okay, um, so. lots of fresh veggies. Looks really good so far. Yeah. Now we got that bison meat going. That's right. That's right. Sizzling yeah. it up for you. That's then great. We're going to just kind of break it up and brown it and okay. get it, uh, some nice color on it, which will add a little more flavor as and well. Now you said this is not on your menu all the time, right? This is no, not uh -uh. a year-round item. And so, so we do uh, like to feature some different things. Mm -hmm. um, we usually do uh, bi bi monthly uh, features, and so this will last for uh, a couple months here, and then okay. we'll switch out to some other things. So we do have some great um, new new ideas for everybody to come and try out. Love um, it. So okay. yeah, it's kind of fun like that. And then um, of course uh, we brought uh, some beer with us today too. Of course you brought beer because you guys have fabulous beer. Right. So now there's not that much. It's about, it's about half full because I had a few drinks before we started. <laughs> no. Gotta loosen up a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's great. Now you're actually going to cook with beer too. Yeah, so exactly. This is going so into that's the dish. Uh, pretty common at, at the restaurant here. We try mm -hmm. and uh, cook with a little bit of beer, add some nice flavor tones to it. Okay. You know, sometimes we like to just drink uh, beer, and it really pairs well with the dish. And in mm -hmm. this case, we're going to do a little of both. So we're going to cook both. with it. Talk about a, a good pairing if it's already in the dish. Yeah, exactly. It takes all the guesswork out. You know exactly what to pair it with. Now. Which beer is going into this particular dish? So we have our uh, Burning, Bar Burning Barn Irish Red Ale, which is okay. a lot of fun. It's a tongue twister um, too. Yes, it is. It's uh, <laughs> really actually a nice balanced uh, flavor of okay. bitterness and hops, and then kind of a sweet uh, caramel um, um, flavor as well. And okay. that's from the uh, toasted um, malts and barley Makes there. Sense. So a little bit of caramely sweetness going on in there. Right. I like exactly. that twist. Okay. So we're going to give a little oh, toss to our veggies. Oh, you got a fancy veggies. toss happening there. And uh, while our meat is uh, just about cooked, yeah. um, we're going to add uh, some of our uh, roasted portobello mushrooms to this. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, again, we always love to have Those some mushrooms with our Add a little mushroom flavor. Yes. yes. 
Um, give it a quick toss. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna add some uh, some flour to it. And this is just oh. regular all-purpose flour. Now and this what is, is that gonna, gonna do? This is gonna help uh, thicken up thicken the sauce. The sauce. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I got gotcha. you. So I'm it's with kind you. of like um, an impromptu roux, if you will, uh -huh. because uh, normally a roux would be cooked ahead of time with butter and flour. Sure, okay. And so we added the garlic butter to start, and now we added a little flour. I like how you we'll rhymed just... that, too. <laughs> an impromptu roux. I know, right? And I come full of jokes. Do you know um, yes. what the, uh, the, the, the father bison said uh, to his boy as he left? <laughs> no, I he don't. He said, bye, son. Oh, right, so, cute. Yeah, right. Okay. So that was my nephew. I love that told, a good cheesy joke. Told me joke. that one, yeah. So. Bye, son. <laughs> That's great. But, so now we added uh, a nice demi glaze to this, and this is mm -hmm. going to create the sauce. Um, and this is just a beef demi, really rich um, in flavor. Yeah, it smells really and good. I wish you could so smell this. So we are going to reduce that down a little bit. Okay. Got our veggies and going. Oh, you can hear the sizzle going. there. We're just going to soften these up. You're not losing a single vegetable in that flip either. Good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I've lost a few in the past, that's okay. for sure. Okay, well so. not today, you're on, you're on point. And then of course with our veggies, we're gonna season that with a little mm -hmm. bit of salt and pepper there. Perfect, I'm a salt um, fan myself, so I like yes. that. So while this is just finishing up here, we're uh -huh. gonna cook the veggies just a little bit more, reduce okay. this down a little bit. Hey, I'm yeah, gonna go ahead and uh, pour our uh, Burning Barn Irish Red here. Okay, and I was gonna have you tell me a little bit about that, because you can actually buy, this is a growler, right? right. I get confused, there's a growler, there's the crowlers, this is a growler. This I is a growler, and we can um, we can fill these at any time. Uh -huh. You buy the growler once, and then you can bring it back as many times as you'd like. Okay. And continue to refill it every Tuesdays and Thursdays. We fill them for seven dollars. Really? Um, and that's a half a gallon of beer for just seven bucks, which is half pretty cool. Half a gallon of Burning Barn Irish Red that's Ale, right. for example. I may I have so no. I am going to go ahead and start okay. the plating on this. Sounds so good. Meat and sauce right in the middle. Perfect. And we are going to take our veggies. Veggies are going to go in, nice and hot, sizzling. That's right. And we're going to just kind of spread those around okay. the edge there. Beautiful. Oh, it looks so good. So it's a pretty dish, too. And then potatoes. And then we have our mashed potatoes, uh -huh. finally, that are going to go right on top here. Okay. And this is topped with a sweet onion bacon jam. Oh my gosh, and you promised me you were gonna torch it. That's right, we gotta torch it, we so, can't forget that. We can't go until we've torched it. So That's we're my gonna favorite just take part. a little torch and in the restaurant yeah. we might use a, uh, a broiler. Oh, awesome. But this will just uh, kind of uh, crisp up that bacon jam so and good. add a little nice color to our mashed potatoes as well. Shepherd's Finish pie. With a little chopped parsley there. That's and great. And that is the dish. Well Matt, Outstanding. You got rhymes, you got jokes, you've got great food over at Granite City Food and Brewery. Thanks for joining us hey, today. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. We'll be back with more restaurant show coming up right after the break. Stick around if you like breakfast and you like subs, because Silvermine is joining us next. Welcome back to the restaurant show. If you've never been to Silvermine Subs, right off the belt line, definitely worth the stop. Great place, got breakfast, you've got sandwiches, you've got salads. We're gonna do we all do. three today, actually. We do. We'll this see. is Ken Brenner who's joining us. So, yeah. yeah, you've got, you're dreaming big. We've got three things to do. Doing three. Okay. Pushing the envelope here. Pushing the envelope <laughs> of the restaurant show. Yeah. Can't be done. No, I think we can, we'll find out. But, okay, we're gonna do, you guys have great breakfast. You also have a home steak sandwich, which I didn't know was a burrito. So we're gonna do the home steak breakfast burrito and the home steak sandwich. Yeah, uh, we have five breakfast burritos and mm -hmm. most of them are modeled after a sandwich. So okay. I figure I can just kind of do both at the same time. Okay, so this is, a, this is a, oh, we're gonna see you multitasking. Multitasking. I like yeah. it, okay. We're gonna go step by step. Now, if you didn't know too that Silvermine has breakfast, um, you guys actually have breakfast Pretty early, don't you? Yep, 7 a.m. So we're in an office building. Uh, yeah. Monday through Friday, it's open, so you get a lot of, you know, workers in the building that. Yeah. Uh, but you'll even breakfast. deliver too. So you sure, deliver yeah, we'll, like we'll 10. Go up the elevator and bring it to Oh, them. that too. <laughs> no, we'll start <laughs> delivering at 10 a.m. Yeah. 10 to 11 is our breakfast window. Okay. So last show, I said we're we're toying with the idea of opening at 8 for, for oh, delivery. Oh, okay. So, okay, sorry, I'm interrupting the yeah, no, process we'll start here. here. Yeah. This is the sandwich, eight inches. Uh, right. Pepper jack cheese, this one comes with pepper jack. Most of them come with uh, provolone, so. Yeah. Trying to make the Philly cheese a little more 
little you need a little spicy. kick with that home steak. I like it. Yep, so this is an Angus beef. Piping hot. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's, yep. that's um, you know, people are always like that Angus beef. Yeah, so the goal is to uh, melt the cheese with the heat of uh -huh. the, uh, the beef. So. Oh, you love that. Well, especially this time of year, right? All right, and you get your veggies, and you can really put whatever veggies you want on, on these sandwiches, right? Yep, all our sandwiches uh, come with, you know, the lettuce, tomato, mm -hmm. what, what have you, but we have a whole uh, variety of Okay. Uh, ingredients and that are no, no charge. These are cooked veggies, so how are you cooking them? Uh, these are steamed, so Still. we have a steam table, so we have a, a steam engine sandwich uh -huh. that comes with the onions and we have mushrooms as well. So okay, so you're not even to getting, warm. You don't they're have not warm fried or anything like that, yeah. nice healthy steamed veggies. Right, yeah, you don't want a warm sandwich with mm -hmm. cold veggies all over it. That's a good point, yeah. never, not sure I've thought of that. Okay, yeah. this is the breakfast home steak, so yes. eggs, Potatoes. Yep, these are our rosemary potatoes, our scrambled uh -huh. eggs. And then the steak, on, the steak coming again. in. Okay. Oh, the special ingredients. You're doing come good. You're, you've got it going on. Doing Both all right. sandwich, breakfast burrito, it's all happening. Oh, happening. All right. <laughs> and we've got our queso here. Okay. Uh, got a little bit of a spice to it, but not too bad. I think that's my favorite part. Yeah. If that's okay. Good. Can I have a favorite? Definitely yeah. have a favorite. And we do top this with uh, onion as well. Okay. Like I said, you can put any any veggies you yeah. want. Yeah, I like I like how you do just a little bit of onion. That's kind of my style. Yeah, I like onion, it. but yeah. not yeah. You don't want to overdo because you, you can you can overdo onion in my opinion. For sure. Okay, breakfast burrito. All right, so breakfast Beautiful. burrito is done. Breakfast is served. Look at that. And we'll cut this in half. And lunch is served lunch all at the served. same time. Beautiful. Home steak all day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Home steak burrito. Can I try this breakfast burrito? Yeah, sure. May I give it a go? You can. I see some queso and you know I want to jump in. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Very good. Good stuff. Now I've got a moment of silence because I'm <laughs> eating, but. All right, I'll talk. So mm -hmm. All right, so. You're going to have to host. What's your favorite part of the burrito? Mm, the cheese. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely the queso. All yeah. Right. Very good. All right, so now we're going to mm. move on to the chicken Caesar feta salad. Okay. So our, our base salad is the garden salad. It's going to come with romaine lettuce, uh, grape tomatoes, and cucumbers. So as we always promote at Silvermine, add as many veggies as you want for free. So I brought, I brought some uh, veggies for, for you guys to see what we actually have. I talk about them, but I never show them. All so. right, so we're going to show them off today. We're going to show them. It's like a see veggie show here. and tell. Okay. Let's get the, the base down. The grape tomatoes. We got some cucumber in here. I'm so glad to see all that green in that salad too. I can't stand ordering a salad that doesn't have enough green. Yeah, sometimes you know. the stalk of the romaine lettuce comes in a little red, mm -hmm. so you just got to kind of cut around that. Yeah, that's but good. You, you're right. If you put it in the salad, it just changes the whole, whole the nature whole of the salad. You got it. Ruins it. it does. All right, okay. so I threw so, some green peppers on there. You've already got three, well, four with the lettuce yeah. bed. We so. slice the green peppers julienne style in house, so you okay. know, most of our stuff we take care of. We got some banana peppers. Okay. People like banana peppers. People do. I believe it, yeah. 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 Now, is that one of the most popular veggies, you think? Yeah, for sure. Really? Banana peppers. Yeah, we go I wouldn't more, have guessed that. Yeah, besides the lettuce and huh. tomato, we go through more banana peppers than anything else. Interesting. Lettuce, lettuce tomato, banana here. peppers. We got some mushrooms. I wouldn't have known. Okay. And then we got our feta cheese. Okay. I am mm, a huge feta fan, but you guys have other options too, don't you? Yep, we've got the provolone cheddar. Uh, for salad, shredded cheddar would be yeah. the second most popular to okay. the- Okay. Uh, Is feta the most popular salad cheese? For salad cheese, yep. Okay, Especially, so we're learning all the top Yeah, none of our other choices. salads come with cheese, so this is the only one that comes okay. with Okay. Oh, the chicken. The chicken. So this is a mm -hmm. we have a, a wrap that people like on the spinach wrap. Sure. That's very similar to this uh, salad. It's called okay. the Prospector Chicken Caesar. Fella. I love the names. Wrap, yeah. Prospector. Okay. Good. Right, so we our chicken, and then best part we make we, we with our bread that we don't use for the the whole day. We uh, turn them into our own seasoned crouton. That's great. So. Yeah, that's a wonderful way to do that. Yeah. And you don't have to get these on the sale. People are trying no, to you have. I would. If, if I they need get a salad sometimes. I'm getting them. <laughs> Yeah, no one leaving out those carbs for me, I like them. Each salad comes with two uh, packages of dressing. And you're all Beautiful. Set. Yeah. Croutons, you make in-house, breakfast, lunch. Any changes to the menu coming up? What's we are. We are going to raise our prices just a little bit. Uh, okay. 10 to 20 cents a sandwich. Uh, we've, we've increased our wages uh, for our employees. We, we find great. we can recruit uh, better 
you know, quality employees that want to stick around. Not necessarily mm -hmm. better, but people that want to stick around. Sure. So, unfortunately, with other rising costs, we do have to raise our menu prices just a little bit. Oh my bit. gosh, 10, you guys have cents, such no great deal. low prices, though. $10.20, that's yeah. incredible. A small so. sell will still be under 5 bucks. Yeah. Breakfast burrito will still be 4 on the dot after tax. So. $4. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, thank you for sharing. Breakfast, lunch, salad, we got it all in one segment. Got it all. We did it. You Three. did it. Ken <laughs> with Silver Mind Subs, thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. Me. We're going to be back with more restaurant show coming up after the break. When we return, Verona Woods Restaurant will be here on the restaurant show. Welcome back to the restaurant show. If you've driven into or through Verona recently, you may have noticed there's some new developments and one of those brand new spots is this fabulous restaurant we're about to talk about today, the Verona Woods Restaurant. And joining me is owner Steve Turner and his son and executive chef, Christian Turner. So glad to see you guys. Thank you. Yes. So I'm really excited to chat about your restaurant. Now you, this is your second restaurant, so you have a, you have another restaurant, you've got this brand new restaurant, and I was just picking their brain a little before we started, a great family business. I think it's yeah. just wonderful that yeah. dad and sons get to uh, work together. Yeah, it's absolutely, it's a lot of fun. Beautiful story. Very fun. Uh, um, okay, so let's cut to the chase, right? Let's get to the food. Let's do it. Um, you guys have a beautiful atmosphere and a big menu. So some exciting things. We're gonna give you just a little sampling of what's on the menu today. But first of all, we're cooking up some shrimp. So talk to me about this dish. All right, so this is our uh, tequila sunrise appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, these are red tiger shrimp that yes. we hit with a little reduction sauce. And okay. the reason it's called tequila sunrise is because we have a little orange juice and tequila in this bottle. Oh, all that, right. Uh, we start off with uh, some jalapeno, some garlic, and some shallot, and let uh -huh. it cook down a while, let it thicken up, and then we strain that out, uh -huh. and so have the nice flavor. So then we take the, with the shrimp. Things are we, getting fun on the yeah. restaurant show today. I like it. So take it with the shrimp a little bit, Okay. and just let it glaze. Saute up a little bit. S yep, let the sauce kind of reduce down on there. Beautiful. And while that's going, we have some of our uh, house-made guac. Okay. Where we take some of the guac, so um, that's made in-house, huh? That I love a fresh house. homemade guacamole. That's great. Yeah, so we got some nice stuff going on here, a little okay. uh, lime juice, Now uh, I tomatoes. noticed you decorated your plate too before you got started, so now I know it's laced with a little tequila. Yeah, just, <laughs> just a little. A little extra. Yeah. No one's going to complain about a little extra tequila. No, no, we got it. We're good. Okay. So the um, a little dollop on little top. dollop on the wonton chip, kind of uh, acts as obviously some more flavor and okay. uh, glue for the shrimp. Ah, I see. So We're using it as glue. I like yes. that idea. So, as okay. soon as the shrimp's done, we put the shrimp okay. right on top. Yep, got it. One by one. Look one at that. It's one. like a piece of art, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Look nice. Nice, fresh. Reminds me of spring, and spring is close. Yes, finally, it's close. This is a good, I feel like, spring dish, isn't it? Yeah. But we'll eat it all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, as soon as we get the shrimp on, we take, uh, we've got some nice, or, uh, Baton radishes here. Okay, what's a baton radish? What does so, that mean? So nice little matchstick. Oh, cute. Nice okay, a matchstick. Okay. Well, I'll like actually it. add a little pepper note to the uh -huh. top of the shrimp. Oh, it's so pretty. That adds a little something. I wouldn't yeah. have thought that would have mattered, but it does. Look at that. It's so, like the the finale. Once we get that all on, we'll take a little chopped cilantro. Okay. And just finish it and hit it with oh, that. Oh, that's a really pretty plate. Beautiful. I love that. Okay, so this is the tequila sunrise tiger shrimp. Yes. Love it. Okay, let's talk about another dish that you have. Again, I, I said you guys have a huge menu, but we're going to just cover a couple things today. Um, I'm a huge chicken fan, so any anything that you can do with the chicken is usually good in my book, but this looks particularly interesting. So um, you've got is this a cheese stuffed chicken? It is. It is uh, stuffed with Oaxaca cheese, which oh is a Mexican gosh. cheese. It's very similar to mozzarella. Okay. Uh, it is a cow's milk. It's stringy, just like that, uh, mm -hmm. just like mozzarella. So yep. uh, it's almost it's it's heartier, almost like a buffalo mozzarella. Oh, right. Okay. And then you've got some things on the side here too. What what are? Well, obviously I can see asparagus. What's in the center? Okay, so that is uh, we roast some fingerling potatoes, mm -hmm. and now uh, we toss them with uh, some chimichurri, which is an Argentine okay. sauce. It's almost it's an herb sauce uh, with cilantro, parsley, and some vinegar. I love uh, it. It's very fresh and bright. It is very fresh and bright. Wow. Okay, and you've got this great Southwest topping that's on top yeah, there. Yeah, that is our roasted corn salsa. 
And then we'll hit it with a little coriander creme fraiche. Beautiful. And some cilantro. Oh my gosh, this is an amazing, all, okay, so I have to tell you, your dishes look like works of art, both of them, beautiful. Oh, um, so that's great. We're gonna mix a drink, yes. too. Oh. That, Dad? Yeah. yeah, we're definitely gonna mix <laughs> okay. our signature drink. It's called our crown apple old fashioned. All right. We start with fresh Granny Smith apples. Yes. Throw a little bitters. Okay. And a little simple syrup in there. And then we muddle those. All right. Oops, and I spray it all over myself. You're that's supposed good. to make a mess. I that's forgot to right. tell you that before we started. You have to make a mess. That's how it works always. Yeah. Right? Okay. So once we do that, we'll put in a little ice. Okay. Is this a popular drink for you this guys? This is probably the most popular drink on our menu. Uh -huh. And the reason being is we make two variations of it. Okay. We make a nice apple crown and then we make a caramel apple. Oh, neat. And what it really hits it is the smell. Huh. And then we hit it off with sweet soda at the end, which we forgot. That's okay. And then we hit it with a cinnamon stick. Uh -huh. And the fun thing about this drink is once it comes to the table, everybody can smell it. Yeah. Because of oh, the apples smell. and can the I caramel smell? and the cinnamon. Uh -huh. Once they smell it, everybody says, what is that? They smell it, they taste oh, it. Oh, wow, it smells like fresh, you, know, you smell the fresh apple. Everybody wants one. So awesome, wow. That's great, I love that. Okay, and that one is the, it's a caramel apple. It's a caramel fashion. apple or a regular like apple fashion. Okay, so you can have one or the other. Yeah. I think I'd do caramel. Yeah, I like number, my number one seller by far. Yeah, okay, well that's great. So you've got lots of great options, obviously. Um, now tell us a little bit, since you've just opened, I, you guys open for lunch and dinner, or what do you? What do the hours look like over there? Yeah, we're open seven days a week for lunch okay. and dinner. Uh, we open every day at eleven. And okay. We go till dinner rush happens. We usually close the kitchen somewhere around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. A little great. later on the weekends. Yeah. Stay, but, uh, yeah, stay seven, up for those seven late days night a week. I love it. Now, is there any rules about what time you have to get there to order one of these? Even no. 11 o'clock? No. You, if you get there at 11. One on a Saturday? You can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. <laughs> That's so. right. That's great. Well, you guys are fantastic. Uh, this is a, fan, a great group of folks. I've thoroughly enjoyed having you today. Well, you thank you for wonderful. having us. Uh, if you want to go see them at the Verona Woods restaurant, I highly recommend it. Check out their menu online. Like I said, just a huge menu of lots of beautiful and delicious dishes for you and the family. Thank you very much, Christian and Steve. We're going to be back. we got more restaurant show coming up after the break, so stick around. Thank you so much for joining us on today's restaurant show. Got the opportunity to check out lots of great local spots. Please join us next time. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, reminding you that life is too short to eat average.